최고 Alright guys, welcome back. Will you have a bloody go at this? Absolute glamour weather. So yeah, today I'm just gonna take this nice weather and I'm gonna use it to my advantage. I'm gonna shoot along the coast and gonna try and get into some creeks I usually can't get to. I've got plenty of extra fuel and I've got a big run planned out for the day. So I'm gonna go try and catch some barra and maybe some threadies and that sort of thing. Gonna try and get in. We got a low tide in about an hour and a half, which is pretty much spot on. I've got a fair idea of where I want to be, so I'm going to go and sneak in before the tide completely drops out, prep up and then get that last hour of the turn, before the turn and then fish the hour after. And then I'm going to shoot out and then hopefully it's still like this when I come back out. Excuse my filthy scream, but will you have a look at that? <sighs> Love it when a plan comes together. All right, I've just anchored up. Found a nice school of fish there, obviously. So I'm gonna throw something nice and quiet first just to try and ease them into it. And if they don't wanna play the game, once the tide changes, I'm just gonna rattle them out with some pointers, so. First things first, I'm gonna throw me a little uh, deep river from Barney that I threw in one of my previous barra videos. I'm sure most of you would have already seen that. And then I'm gonna throw a seven inch uh, Molex RT shad as well. So there is so many fish coming through this sound. I have a go at that. So for those that don't know, these little white highlights there, they're the fish. And you can see they're hugging close to the bottom because the shadows are nice and close. These ones here are all it's a little bit hard to tell. We'll just turn that sensitivity down. Uh, they're pretty close to the boat, so I'm gonna give these guys a little rustle up and uh, see how we go. <laughs> I've just drifted back on the anchor a little bit, nice and quietly. This big dog here, whole pot of little ones. That's as far back as she scrolls. So yeah, I've just slipped my anchor in. I mean, super quiet. I don't want to spook them and ruin it for myself. So I'm gonna sit back here. They would have just heard, heard the anchor drop now. So I'm not even gonna cast for the next sort of couple of minutes. So I'm just giving them a bit of time to settle down and think that I'm gone. I'm turn this on to standby mode and I'm gonna get casting. Fanning my cast along about a meter apart each time, just trying to work the whole area just to just to show my lure to different fish each cast. With that current slowing right down, these fish should be moving around, ready to feed. So should be looking for food, and I should be able to get reaction bites. So fingers crossed, it all comes together and I have a good session. Ha <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> Got him. Oh, my. <laughs> Don't you dare go over there, mate. Oh, this is going to be fun. He's a good fish. He's real nice. Oh, yeah. He's hooked well by the looks. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Got him. <laughs> wow, that's a good fish. He's going to push a meter, I reckon. So high 90s. Oh. That's it. Bang on. What, 99. Goblin 704 and the little deep river. What's it called? A mogul or something, mugle. Got a size one BKK Viper there and a number two on the back. That's spot on. That is a bloody good fish, I'm stoked with that. I'm gonna get a bigger one now. Off you go, mate. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's bloody awesome. About half a centimetre off the metre mark, but I'll take it. Stoked with that one. Any big barrel like that's a win, so especially solo. Good fun trying to get a fish like that in the boat by yourself. <laughs> I'm gonna hook in, get another one, check all my terminals, make sure I'm good, and keep casting. All right, I'm gonna reposition this boat. I was set up for the tide running the other way, so I'm gonna pull the anchor up nice and quietly and sneak around on the electric. Now, when you're trying to get these bigger fish to bite you really want to try and be as stealthy as possible so I'm gonna try and be pretty quick with this I might straighten the outboard first and just really plan out what you're gonna do because if you if you don't if you get halfway through doing you getting yourself set up and you haven't done something you generally rush and you'll bang around the boat and make a big noise so we'll see I've got the bike tube on me anchor so it's a little bit quieter it's not so much so it doesn't bash my boat up it's more so it doesn't clunk when it hits the bottom I want it to be as quiet as possible all right so there, there's not much out in front of where I was so I was probably oh there's one there you can see one here might go just a little bit further just in case there's some more but I'm thinking that's pretty much going to be the back side of the school there's another one there maybe two three starting to show up Gonna be a fish there. You can kind of see a highlight. You can see his tail though, that's the giveaway. Just a bit of a dodgy reading. Oh, we got a few up here. They could be worth targeting. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, I can't 
don't see many real big ones yet. 11, 12, another one there. Another one. I actually like that depth, it's really good. 1.8. I'm just going to turn the boat sideways just to get a scan up that bank there. See, uh, oh, yep, there they all are. All sitting in this ridge here. Oh, I might drop the anchor here and have a few casts. Feel for the bottom. There's the bottom. So let that chain lay down nice and quietly. Alright. Tried and tested. I'm sticking with it. just down here so I'm going to pull that anchor up and then just go down nice and slowly with the current just so I don't scare them all. Once again nice and quiet. I prefer to anchor, I don't really like running the electric when I'm actually fishing i've got most of my electronics off or pretty much all my electronics off so i do keep the electric in just in case i need it but it's um always best to try and get put an element of stealth in there See what's on this sound in here. These fish would have moved a lot, and that's one thing. A lot of people say bar are lazy. I'm definitely not lazy. So I'm gonna turn us around and go with the current so I can go on like two and a half, nice slow speed. And what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna scan down and when I get close to some bigger fish some of the you can tell the size difference but just by looking at the sander a lot of the time but when i see some bigger ones i'm going to slip the anchor in so i'm just down behind them oh my god something just died right next to the boat but yeah i'll um i'll be positioned perfectly Keep this sun off for you so you can see. One little barra. Got a pretty big tide today, got a five, five and a half meters of run, so oh, four and a half meters of run. I think it's a one meter low and a 5.2 or something high, so a fair bit of water moving soon. So I do like the bigger tides, it just gives the bar a bit more urgency or they have to feed because the current's going to be tearing so hard soon. They do like to tuck in and hide behind stuff. But um, yeah, generally they like to swim around on them smaller tides and move around and they are not. They can be a bit more picky with what they eat. Whereas the bigger tides, they don't get so much time to be fussy. So 
you generally get a more aggressive but shorter bite window. Oh yep, nice little patch out here. You can see that. Only a few there. I'll position myself in the middle a little bit more so I can fish both sides. Some better fish in that, that school there. There's a big one here at the back and some three little ones next to him. Just sitting in them little ridges. So yeah, not much current at the moment, so the fish are quite spread out. As it picks up, they'll bunch up and get a bit tighter. For a little bit, they should feed. But yeah, once they bunch up, they can, like they'll still be in the mood to feed just after that slack water, but as that tide picks up, they'll get a lot more into that relaxed mode where they just chill for a bit and they'll just wait until the next until the current gets too strong and then they'll move down to the next spot where they'll go and try and hide themselves. Very spread out. A few there. Where's the big ones? Oh, hello. There they are. Okay. Anchor's going in. Oh my god. Okay, so while I was dropping the anchor in, that's what we missed. Yeah, that's a whole lot of barra. So yeah, we're just going to swing into position now. Anchor's down. I'm going to start casting into that school there. Alright, I'm going to run this on the little 703 4.5 Molex RT Shad in. UV Wakasagi, this colour is a fish catcher. Don't know what it is about it, but it just gets it done. It's a 6 o BKK Harpax jig head. This is actually a prototype. The production ones have a tin finish on the hook, but that's going to do just nicely. I'm just going to tie that on with a loop knot. I'm going to throw that for as long as I can stand slow rolling, which isn't very long. After finding all these fish last week, I come back up the creek just for a bit of a look. I haven't been up here before, but we are a few hours early for the bigger guys that I'm going to go chase a bit later. But we've come up and we're just going to fish little drains and that sort of thing, casting lures at the edge. Ellen's getting the jump on me. But yeah, we're sort of um, just going to have a little bit of a play around here and see if we can't catch a few little rats and that sort of thing. We did just scan past this little drain here, so you should be able to see that. 
So what we're doing, we scanned a bunch of fish just on the backside. We've driven way, way up the bank there, just looking for more and just to give them a bit of a rest since they, we drove past them. And then we've just come back down on the electric and just sat down just off the drain and have a cast and see how we go. <laughs> I knew that drain at hard one. Cast in the backwater of it, just on that little colour change there. He's just like, oh, I'll just put one over here and see what happens. He's only a little fella. It's all right. Up you come. Yeah, little fella. On the pointer. There's a lot of bow there. It's just deeper. It's slow roll. No, oh, there he goes. Might be enough to get the bigger ones fired up. Did not even feel that bite, it just come off the mud. Another little rat. Nice clean fish. He's a bit bigger. I'll do a little hold up with him. Yep. All right, little, little drain barrel. It's on the pointer, it's 100 SP there. A little chartreuse. Real dirty water, but that chartreuse sort of sticks out a bit. We've got a fair few fish sitting on the edge of these drains here, so we're gonna keep peppering them. It's number two, I reckon we can probably pull a few. We've got about an hour before the tide gets out to where we want it to be, so we're gonna have a little play with these guys in the meantime. Get him back in, and we can um, hopefully get a bigger one. Just little tiny taps that time. There we go again. That's the very next cast. <laughs> oh, how good's that? Oh, hook just fell out. Oh, he's a bit bigger again. That was the very next cast. Felt a hook fall out, so I don't want to go too hard. Um, we might get the net on this one, maybe. Yeah, he's not a nice fish. Yeah, wow, I can't believe how healthy they are, eh? We've got net girl on the boat today. Oh, that girl's gonna get sacked. 
Yeah, it's on 70 odd. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Maybe that's two from two casts. Not a bad one. They're all nice, healthy fish. Look at the colour in the tail on him. It's awesome. Yeah, we're gonna sit on these for a little bit longer. Hopefully, pull a few more, and um, I'm gonna sneak out and try and find some big ones as the tide changes. Can we do three? I didn't even check my leader. Oh no, I'm fouled up. Oh, Ellen's on. Okay, there's a few fish on this drain. <laughs> Is that the first cast? Yeah. Since you changed? Yeah. I'm such a rookie. I didn't even check that. Nothing. I just cast it while it was fouled up. I got so excited. Get that leader up. Yep. Now control him, turn his head, yep, and keep it coming. No. You have to keep his head out yeah. of the water. No, when they... He's not bad, he's about 70. Fish. That's the first cast with the sticks in eh? Yep. Pretty cool, nice clean fish. You can get him back in, eh? Gang bang. They're all hooking in. Big turtle orgy. Knock it out of gear. Get it up there, mate. Hit it. I'm in a second. So many fish there. On our left, okay. Yeah, on the left and slightly um, north. I wonder what they are. They might be black dew. That's the only downside. Oh, yeah. Good fish? Missed, missed the bite. Good one? Yeah, good bite. I was still free, free spawning. Yeah, right. Oh, there's the moon rise. The odd one. You on? Decent? Trout. Little trouty. <laughs> random what spot. Random. He's probably big enough. Know. Funny looking barra. <laughs> Get rid of it. Yep. <laughs> There's a heap just coming through under us now.
Yeah, that moonrise should have everything fired up. Don't know what that was. Definitely felt too big for this rod though. Definitely felt too big for this rod. <laughs> I'm scared of what that actually was. Again. Queenie. He bit me off too. Hmm. What else have I got ready to go? I'm coming again. <laughs> it's not even a queenie. What is it? It's a giant herring. It's a big giant herring. Whoa. Oh, that's its gill. Sorry, mate. Have you used the gill He's actually going to die now, which but, sucks. Yeah. Yeah, they're really cool. Okay, don't go that hard on them. So many here. There we go. Yeah. Oh, big giant herring. <laughs> Good size, big one. Here he comes, he's going to jump. Come on. You're sitting the strongest run, eh? Yep, do it. That's a good one. That's a good fish. Yeah, get the net ready. And just keep him in the water once we get him in the net. Yeah. <laughs> I'd rather catch that than a meter barra anyway. <laughs> Look at it, that's a meter, that's a meter giant herring. That is huge. Okay, I'm gonna lead his head in. Yep. Okay, keep him in the water, yeah, please. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> He's coming out. Oh no! Oh, I'm sorry. Oh no. I cried. Oh no. <laughs> well, what just happened? Okay, here we go. Net in? Yep. You're gonna get sacked as net girl. All right. Okay. All right, now. Okay. Wow. There we go. No big barra, but that's a giant herring on the, was a five inch live target slow roll, slow roll mullet, I'm pretty sure that one is. Look at that. Yeah, that's a really cool fish. That's a new BKK, it's a 5.0 hard packs jig head. Uh, I think it's three quarter ounce weight. Yeah, really cool fish.
I'm gonna get him back in. <laughs> Let's get out of here before it's pitch black. All right, guys, that's it for now. Thanks for watching. As you can see, that moon's just come up in the background, which is prime time for Barrow. We were sitting on a spot where I found them not long ago, but they're not sitting here today. So it's the beauty of fishing. They're never exactly where you think they're going to be, but that uh, giant herring at the end is a pretty cool consolation prize. I haven't caught one of them for a long time, and that was a really good one. So I'd say they'd be about a metre ten, which awesome fun. So yeah, we've got about a 20k run back down the coast to get back home, so we're going to make tracks now and get get out of here. But uh, if you've got any questions about what we've done today, make sure you hit me up in the comments, and while you're here, hit that subscribe button. Thanks for watching.